Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to set up Blue Arp. Um, I might do more of these these videos. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do another one on TAL vocoder because that one took me a, a little while to figure out how to how to get going too. So uh, let's start with this one. This is Blue Arp. What you're going to want to do is create a MIDI track. I know I have that MIDI there, but let's just go with a TTS one. And then you're going to want to put in Blue Arp as a separate instrument. Oh, let me just delete this real quick. Blue Arp X64. All right, so now you have Blue Arp. It doesn't do anything, as you can see. It's moving across the. Uh, when I press a key it's moving across the screen here but there's no audio coming out so to get your audio this is what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna make sure that the audio echo is enabled on both tracks and you're going to let me uh... let me just lay something down real quick let's just do a quick Just something super simple. Alright, so you're going to take this, you're going to put it into the blue arps spot right there, and then when you come up here, you're going to go output or wait, input blue arp, omni, do omni. And then, uh, you see the difference? And then, uh, I'm not exactly sure how to program all this in the Blue Arp yet, all this stuff, and, and set it up. I, I think it's basically like anything else. You just mess around with it until, until it sounds like something you like. Uh, audio echo. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't that working, man? It's the audio echo, it wasn't on the other tracks, though. So. See what it sounds like in C5. Am I going down or up? Get the octaves.
That one's pretty, I like that. Okay. But anyway, that's how you set up Blue Arp right there. 